Hey, hey, adventurers, it is time to uh, kick those tires and light those fires. They're here at the old Davidson Ford at Old Fort, North Carolina for the recreation of the uh, 1776 Cherokee Battle. Right behind me, if you see, there's a couple tents set up for our fine Cherokees. So we're going to be storming this fort, and I'm going to take you on a small little tour. So come with me. Let's go for a ride. King George in 1760 granted the Cherokee a boundary to maintain peace between the English and the uh, Native Americans here in North and South Carolina. Tensions were really high because a lot of the English were disregarding this boundary line. And in 1761, I believe, don't quote me on this because I've gotten my dates wrong before, tensions came to a boiling point when settlers under the command of King Louis tried to um, settle before the English did here at Old Davison Fort or Fort Lackey. The English decided that they wanted to try and outmaneuver the French and put settlers here first and bum rush this, this settlement which of course upset the Native American tribe because of course they were on native land, granted to them by King George. Now, we have this wonderful little town and it's, tomorrow it's going to be just full plum full of reenactors and living historians. We've got one pump tent already already going up. Yeah, thank you. I love my earrings. I wish I had my longer ones. I lost those, but I gotta do what I gotta do. This is a nice little recreation of the fort and what you would normally find during those days, including a hand cart. No, not the lawnmower nor the table, but the nice little lean-to shed, blacksmith shed. No, you would not see the car or <laughs> a lot of these little tents, but it'd be like a little mini city right here in the town itself. This was here to be protected for against the wild frontiers such as the Native Americans or the Indians in this area who of course were not very friendly. As we go inside this nice wonderful little recreation, of course we see a lot of modern tools here as we still set up for tomorrow's little wonderful event. But yes, the candelabra will be lit. All of the modern conveniences of the light switches will be down, will be pure candle power some of the tools that were used back in that day. I really wish that my tour guide was here. He was scheduled to be here at four. He hasn't shown. And with some technical difficulties in the rain, I figured I just might as well just go ahead and go live and just show you a little bit of what's going on around here. Upstairs, we have the full bedroom. And this is where the family would sleep. Unfortunately, it is off limits right now. But when the preacher gets here, maybe we can go upstairs. But you see, this is what I'm doing this weekend. Now, I am not going to be one of the reenactors dressing out. Unfortunately, I do not have the time period appropriate clothing. And it's starting to rain again. Gotta love it. Oh, I love the rain. I am more of a civil war, which is about a hundred years later. What I do is I come out here and I paint their faces in the traditional manner. Don't ask me how I started. Apparently I'm good at it and I do it a lot. Hey Jeannie, nice to see ya. Thanks you guys for jumping on. I really appreciate you guys coming over here and just seeing everything. Um, at the old fort we also have, of course, the stockade. There may or may not be a uh, fort commander being put in that tomorrow. We shall see. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it has been raining on and off all day. Trying to put up the tent and stay dry has just been absolutely impossible. But here's a little, uh, a little uh, distant view of the uh, Cherokee settlement. Of course, none of this is period correct because, of course, you've got the 1880. Oh, I can't remember the year, but it was definitely Civil War, Officer's War tent, wall tent, you have the A-frames. 
And then of course you have the lean-tos. Here we're gonna have a nice little archery demonstration where they're gonna show and do some uh, nice little dis... Oh, excuse me, I kind of lost my train of thought there. Now what we're gonna end up having is some demonstrations and some archery, flint and lock, showing the kids how to load a muzzle loader, a flint lock, bow and arrow, and in the distance, if you can see, we have little targets for axe throwing. I just think this is a really cool little history. Stumbled across this. If you guys are in the area, we would greatly appreciate you coming up and seeing us, saying hi, learning about the history. In this day and age, and with what's going on with the political climate, history is being erased. And my personal opinion is, if history is forgotten and you forget the lessons learned, you're doomed to repeat history again. And we really don't want that. Plus, the Native Americans themselves have lost so much history. None of it was really written. It was all verbal, from father to son, mother, daughter, elder to, to warrior. So it's it's hard to try and capture what has already been lost. But we're, we're trying here, we're trying to keep history alive and enjoying it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this short. It is getting really wet out here and I am getting drenched. I wanna thank you guys all for uh, joining me for my quick little tour of Davison Ford. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I'm stuttering a lot. I'm still trying to learn how to do all these fun things. And soon I will be up to the caliber of Mr. Ronnie Woo Stokes are <laughs> even the ship show. I know, I'm reaching high. Anyways, y'all have good, enjoy, love ya.
show you how to open that with your teeth.
Take the shoes. Take the shoes. I came right in at the parson. I said, you guys do it. Good luck. You got no hair. Good luck on the scout. You got to get him to the bottom here. Thank you.